Van der Ven, Marcus Delmeda, Pierre Plion of France, Ozinyek of Korea, Brady Ellison of the United States, Florian Kalund of Germany, and Jake Kaminsky of the United States. Jake Kaminsky, though, taken care of by this young man, Marcus Vinicius Delmeda from Brazil, the 16-year-old who is the youngest archer ever in a World Cup final field but certainly shooting like a veteran. And he does have a lot of experience on the international circuit as a junior and now getting a lot of experience this summer on the World Cup circuit as well. And he'll need that experience as he takes on 21-year-old Florian Kalund of Germany, the sixth seed, number six on the World Cup circuit with 30 points, 25 of those coming in on Talia Turkey where he defeated Kuban Chan using his spare bow in a match that went to a shootout. So 25 of his 30 points came in Turkey at stage three and helped propel him to the World Cup Finals, where he now faces Marcus Delmeda of Brazil. So Delmeda fresh off his appearance at the Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing where he won the silver medal and had to settle for silver only because his opponent refused to basically miss, missed on only two arrows in the gold medal match. So it really wasn't Marcus's fault. He pretty much had to be perfect that day. Oh, first shot. I'm sure he's been practicing since then too. Oh, I'm sure. Picks up where he left off this morning while Kalunda's low, but just a little bit. Wow. That's the only thing I can think of. I know it's not very profound, but <laughs> those two shots together, wow. Kalund cashing in. Ten, ten, ten. Thirty points for the 16-year-old from Brazil. The set goes to Dalmeida, and Colun so, shot so shot Kalun an excellent set. 29 and yeah. still loses the set. Now he knows how Marcus Dalmeida felt at the youth championships. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I shoot at 29 and it's not good enough. What a great start. And I've got to think it's a little bit of a challenge. You, you have the, the quarterfinals in the morning, Hilda, and then you got to wait till the afternoon and you got to go through lunch and warming up again and keeping that edge, I think, is, that, is, is what's the challenge. Yeah, well, yeah, it certainly is. It's a challenge to whenever this is, this is short, you know, 15 arrows, mm -hmm. um, if it goes to five sets, less if it goes to fewer sets. Um, and you've got to be really on your game straight away. So practicing that, you know, doing the practice, getting ready, going through your mental routine, coming in, you know, again, going through your mental routine for each stage is really, really important. Got to stay on your game and carry it through from the quarterfinals here to the semifinals. And both of these arches have done that. Dalmeda just doing it a little bit better in that first set. So he leads two to nothing and prepares for his first shot of this second set. Okay, okay. And misses for the first time in this semifinal matchup with Florian Kalun. Kalun, I'm sure. Has that spare bow as the backup. And there's Dalmeda shooting at 10 as we were away for just a moment. He so this will be interesting now because he's had to pick up his spare bow. Which he used to win in Antalya, Turkey. But you saw him go back and switch. But the sight may not be set quite the same. And that's what I was going to ask you, the adjustment that you have to make. He will have made sure 
that both sites were set prior to prior to coming onto the field. But, but never really a good sign when you have to go to that backup bow no. in the middle of your match. No. Because it's all about consistency. So if sure. you if it's if not set up like the first one. With athletes at this level, they have a spare and they always they practice with both so they can switch between one and the other. But it's always it's a different bow, you know. Um, there's always a chance that there may be something different. And the one shot set slightly differently. And one shot, excuse me, I'm sorry to interrupt you. One shot may make the difference. And Absolutely. it may be that first shot that you take with that backup bow. But it did work out for Florian Kalund in Antalya, Turkey. Had to use his spare bow there as his arrow rest had broken. He went on to win the gold medal in a shoot off against Kuban Chan. But now using that backup bow against Marcus Dalmeda and Dalmeda dominating right now. 4 nothing the lead. Could he be on his way to a straight set sweep over the gold medalist from Antalya? Nine, now has Kalun going back to his original bow? Four. I think he might have done it, but he was, he picked up. I was trying to watch what he was doing, so let's go and see when he goes back. Eight. Struggling with either bow right now. Well, Dalmeda is the picture of consistency. Young man who's got his sights set not just on the gold medal match today, but getting to the gold medal match in Rio in two years at the Olympics in Brazil. So 26 points. Takes eight points to win it for Marcus Dalmeda. It's a done deal. Dalmeda closes the deal in three straight sets. Marcus Dalmeda eliminated Jake Kaminsky in three straight sets in the quarterfinals. Here in the semifinals, it took him three straight sets to eliminate Florian Kalun. It's just amazing. He's just so calm. He's just amazing. Youth definitely being served here in Lausanne as Florian Kalun, 16 years old, the youngest ever to make it to a World Cup final is gonna go on and fight.